Good day, everybody. <laughs> Let me fix my mic. <clears throat> oh, I'm coughing. Um, yes, hi, my name's Vince. That's Kevon over there, who just waved at us. That's Kevon right there. And uh, welcome to Dark Souls 3. Um, we're going to uh, maybe take on a boss. Yeah, hang on, let me make an adjustment. Okay, that's better. I had the gameplay on really loud. <laughs> so let's travel, and I believe... Is this the one where... Dilapidated Bridge. Yeah, it must be, because that's the beginning. Yeah, let's go to the... Dilapidated Bridge? Is that what it is? That's where we got invaded, right? By the uh, Mound Maker guy. Pretty sure. Anyway. Okay. How's everybody doing? Well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so I was thinking that maybe we'll take on the boss today. Yeah, this is the right one. All right. And we still have to go there and free the, uh, is it Carmina? The, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Miracle Merchant, right? She has a story. So let's try this sword out on this big guy over here. And we also made friends with... There's nothing up here, I don't think. We also made friends with the giant, so he's going to be helping us with some some arrows later. Oh. Wow, where did this guy run? Oh, he almost killed me. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Right? Like that. Oh, he had an item for me. Oh, we got the great machete. Cool. Well, it looks like we may have to... <laughs> hit the bonfire before we start the boss, because he kind of smoked me a little bit. But he did. We did a lot of damage to him, didn't we? I think we just wait for the arrows to come. Bye bye, guys. The power of friends, ladies and gentlemen. Well, while that's happening, I think I can come up here, can I not? Is there a place that I can make my way up here? No, maybe not. But there, there are some ashes, I believe, there. I think it's for the merchant. That's what I think it is. But uh, let's pick up some items while our buddy here is taking cover for us. <laughs> Baiting soul. A young branch. Another young branch. So many things. Oh, someone just died there. This is nice. Oh, a reinforced club. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to use that in... Uh, in Dark Souls 2. You know, I kind of caught like this Dark Souls 2 thing going on. A little bit of a love for it right now. I think it's just that I, I didn't really give it a chance and I, I kind of uh, want to try it. But you know, more and more I see people playing it and then it seems like they just, they're like terribly bored of it, you know, after. So I don't know, I, I still got to try to figure it out for myself, I suppose. Anyway, there's some ashes here, and an ambush, which is right there. But uh, we'll see if I can get the the prize first. It's a, it's a Morticia's ashes, cool. And there's our little ambush. Uh, at least I thought there was an ambush here. Did he get smoked or something? Where is the ambush? Maybe he's from this side. There he is. Sneaky peepee. -pee. There you go, guy. <laughs> Where did he go? I think that was weird.
That was a little odd that he went over there. Do you know everything's been odd about this? Cool. Cleric set. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing, isn't it? Even the windshield. That's probably a starting uh, set too, right? Look at us. Look how dashing Kevin is right now. How dashing. I was even thinking of maybe um, doing the boss with the, the ring under 30% to see if you get more damage. <laughs> maybe we could try it out, eh? It would be fun. I've never I've never done that before, so. Anyway, I think we cleared all this this whole area. Oh, we got uh, uh, some un undead bone char shards too. That gives us a, a stronger Estus, and we're gonna burn that at the uh, at the fire later. Maybe we'll do it before we fight the boss, since we're we're going since I want to hit the boss uh, the bonfire again. Oh, this guy is looking very creepy. Ooh, Let's see him get him out here. Then. Oh, giant! Giant. Thank you. You are a true friend. <laughs> oh, some charcoal pine resin. Good. Cool. I think that's all for enemies in here. It's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit light. I could be wrong though. Hang on. I think here is the great scythe or the scythe. I think this is what that says, right? Yeah, the great scythe. Cool. Everybody's favorite DS1 weapon. <laughs> Dex weapon, I think it was considered. You know, I've also been thinking about maybe just uh, getting summons for this as well, since it's kind of a a puzzle fight, you know, in a way. And it is it is just the beginning. But, you know, um, I'll have to amber up for it. But we can try it out. Here's that shortcut, and we're back. The bonfire's just right over there. You just run down the stairs. Easy. And there are some enemies here, but they're nothing really huge to worry about there. And I don't know. You think we should take on the boss? I have five Estus flasks. Uh, hmm. I think we should just give it a whirl, eh? How bad can it be? What I can try to do is just sort of do a speed run strat thing and just sort of... Um, there's a boss there, isn't he cool? It is a really cool boss fight in a way. Maybe I'll just uh, weed out the, th the herd here a little bit. Why doesn't he run over here? That's fun. Oh, here he comes. Look at all the, look at all the arrows on his body. <laughs> Really? That was close, but also disturbing. All right, guy, you're next, I suppose. Whoa. They are kind of weak, I guess. You know, I seen this at, um, who does this? Like a lot of speedrunners do this, uh, I guess. To not speedrunners, but um, the no hit, the no hit guys, you know. And I suppose that they do that to, because that they spawn. But I suppose they, they wouldn't spawn that fast. I, I guess. Oh, I don't think I got him. That was close. that I didn't really pay attention because I was talking about yeah so I was watching um, I think it was squid killer and I think that's was part of his strat was to get rid of these guys first before actually engaging the boss and uh, then engaging the boss so I don't think I'll huh well let's just go for it maybe I'll ask this up too just to have a full health bar
I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm going down already? That's kind of weird. I still don't feel like I have the greatest amount of stamina. Oh, I think I just got hit with something. I think I better run away because I don't know where he is or anything. Gross. Kind of gross. I don't know where the rest of his bally things are. No, it's not there. I thought he had some on his feet. Could be wrong. Look, I, I've only really fought this guy once before, so. <laughs> oh, oh, I think he's gonna. He's doing something. Oh, gross. He's grossing me out. Oh, there's one there. That was kind of close by. Yeah, sorry guys. I know that, you know, people kind of... Oh, there's one here. Maybe I can get that one. Whoa. See what I mean? Kind of hits good. I hate that hand! Oh. I really don't know what to hit, but where to hit on this thing. Oh. Well, that did something to him. I don't think he liked me. He likes me too much now. I guess uh, maybe I'm not really figuring this out really well. I don't know. He's kind of gross. I think I'm just going to stay the heck away from him. <laughs> right? Oh. So, I think he's got something in here, too, but... Oh, that kind of hurt him. I'm always running out of stamina. I'm having a hard time with stamina management. I think he wants me to get he wants to get me with his hand, but I really don't want to be part of that hand job there. I uh, hope oh, that sounded wrong. But you know what I mean.
Oh my god, see what I mean? That hand hurts. Oh, see? I didn't, I was getting too kind of like, uh, I wanted to attack there. And I didn't do well. <laughs> There's a lot of running around for that fight, honestly. But uh, it's okay. So where did I end up? Oh, yeah, right. So shall I go this way again and just run there? Or should I use the shortcut? Hmm, I don't know. Also, let's see how the fire sword does on him. I know that it's a little bit less. No, it's actually pretty good. Okay, let's see what the fire sword is like in this area. And uh, maybe I should just use the shortcut instead. Okay, instead of running through all those guys. But uh, is it really that bad? I, I don't think so. Let's just try running, running it. Not a big deal. Because I got my... Uh, what do you call it? I have my buddy here. He'll help me out. Come on, guys. Maybe I'll just stick around a little bit. I think my guy's taking a break. That was okay. I don't think anybody else followed me. I got hit a little bit, but uh, I wonder if the job, if the fight starts right away. And uh, honestly, I just feel like seeing if I could uh, use one of these and uh, if there's anybody to summon. Anyone? No. I guess uh, on a Saturday morning, no one's playing. <laughs> Maybe I'm too high level. I don't know. Does it make it any harder that I go this way? You think I should just kill the guys? I think I'm just going to go for it. You know, uh, have myself a little bit of fun here. Thanks, Greatwood. I didn't know he does that. Cool. Whoa, look at him rolling. Awesome. I think the longer I stay, the worse it is. Right?
thought he had one on his leg or something like that. Oh, there it is. Oh. Doing a lot worse this time around. I think I'm maybe trying to be too careful or something. You know. to myself maybe I'll be more aggressive this time. <laughs> stuff's really I think I did I got him down pretty good the last time too but on gluing. Uh oh, I don't like his hand. Mm -hmm. I don't think hitting the wood would do anything really. Mm -hmm. I still want to uh, I'm trying to find another weak spot it is. I thought there was one more somewhere. Oh, I think he's here spinning around this guy. He wants to... I think I might have to go in front of him. Oh. Gosh darn, I almost had him. It's funny, the, the bosses that you have trouble with, you know, from <laughs> when you go, uh, when you go back. <laughs> so I think um, I'm gonna use less Estes flasks on the first time around. And I will try to, um, how to say, let me just clear out, I'll clear out the enemies. Well, I don't really have to. But I do like the fire sword. That was working pretty good. It, they were pretty much the same idea. I don't think they were really much different. I 
lost a little bit of damage. But uh, that's okay. That this is taking me a long longer than it should be. I think I'm gonna play. You know what it is too is I get a little bit. Uh, is anybody coming? I get a little bit. Um, how do you say? Uh, impatient, uh, honestly, with uh, with this guy. And uh, I was hoping that there'd be someone here, even an NPC. But I guess there isn't. You know, it, it's unfortunate that it's, uh, you know, the last time I played, I could have swore there was like 20 of them here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my internet's not really working. Oh, it should be. So, to make myself feel, you know what, uh, just go for it. I think I got a good uh, strategy for this uh, this thing. I just uh, I really don't want to kill too many of these guys. Because he kills them all. Okay. I gotta make sure that I—I I gotta make sure that I keep him in my in line of sight here. All oh, this stuff is gross. Where's all the guys? So I don't think that's open yet. I think there's one here that... There we go. Alright. And I believe this ball sack can go. Yeah, I think we're pretty good there. So let's see what... Oh. sure if he's going to make his way down now. Oh, what a scoundrel that guy is. So I guess I'm in a good spot to maybe just heal up. And so I see a thing in the back. So I can usually hit this one okay. Oh. Stay away from his hand. <laughs> okay, that's not good. There's something I could hit here. Oh, there was. Damaged him pretty good there. Now I'm going to run away! Because there's probably something. Maybe I'll get my souls too. No sense losing those puppies. So I'm gonna stay at full health. I'm not gonna get too cocky here because. Whoa, I've never seen him do that. That was crazy. Did you see him attacking there? that. Well, he's dropping those balls at his. This is not good. I think 
I'm happy with using a Nestus Flask again. So it seems like the finishing hits for me are the, the ones that... Oh, it goes again. Oh. On, uh, I keep on coming close, but no cigar, I guess. Did I get him? Woo! What a hard time I had with him. And that's why we do this, guys, is for that transposing kiln. <laughs> well, three times the charm, I suppose. Um, yeah, that was uh, very difficult uh, for me. I'm not really a fan of puzzle bosses, honestly. And, uh, you know, I was hoping to get a summons, too, so I didn't have to do all that work. But this is where the, the Mount Covenant is, I believe, right? Yes, it is. Do I have any? I do not. I think I gave mine up already. So anyway, yeah. This is the uh, the pit that you end up in when you go into that guy's uh, cage. You know, uh, Nana. <laughs> right? I'm sure that they have all the, the cages here. That's kind of a creepy place. Right? Anyway, let me get out of here. Let's go to Firelink Shrine, and uh, we could um, free the Miracle Merchant. I forgot her name. Carmela, Carmine, Carmine, maybe I don't know. But let's go to Firelink Shrine. You know, I have a feeling, I was thinking to myself, that I would probably remember the later the later game bosses than I remember uh, these bosses. <laughs> like the first few, anyway. So, let's, um, we have to do some NPC stuff here. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of... So, you give her the Umbral Ash, and it's Mortician's Ash. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> they may, they may. So, I think she has a key now for us. And I just like to go for the key. This is uh, key to a door in undead settlement sewer. So that's the one we need. I'm not getting the uh, the other key either. I'm also not doing the uh, the jump, you know, the famous jump. All right. And I was wondering too, how many shards I have? Oh, I could just do that here. I don't have to go. How many shards do I have? I have three. And the only thing that I really would want to up the upgrade would be the the regular sword, the long sword, wherever it is. Oh, this is a long sword plus two. Well, you need six shards for plus for plus three. Oh gosh, okay, crazy. I really don't want to upgrade or update anything else. But let's infuse some things here. Let's see what the broadsword infuse is going to be like. If I'm not raw, I think raw. So it just goes to 142 from 117. Still, it's comparable. It's an interesting, an interesting weapon to make raw. And as fire, no, I wouldn't do that. But um, we're, we're going to have the stats for it anyway, so what's the point, right? I am going to make the long sword refined, however, uh, because I know that with our stats that we're going to have, it's going to be a wonderful thing. And, Pretty, you know, be careful. 
So uh, did I have the refined sword or did I have the fire sword on? I have the fire sword on right now. Didn't Grey isn't Grey Rat supposed to go somewhere? Oh hello, you've come at a good time. Oh, it took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. Cool. I think he has fire. Yeah, he has. I love the. I love fire arrows. But he has a bunch of armor now. Some. Oh, he has a knight shield. That's cool, which I already have. I mean, uh, but I think this one here is from. I think the kite shield. Is that from from Dark Souls Two? I'm not sure. But he does. Ex every time he comes back, he always expands his repertoire. And I don't have any fire bombs. I think I'm going to get ten fire bombs. How many? Left? Oh, yeah, I think maybe just get twenty. They're they're always handy to have fire bombs. And throwing knives, I'm going to get also some, but I really don't need them because I have the, uh, and of course he has Ambrose, Ambas, and a Divine Blessing, Repair Powder, which you don't really need. So very cool. Is this a short bow? It is a short bow. See, this is what I kind of want to use is a short bow instead of the long bow. But um, I have a long bow, that's the thing. Let's see how it goes Goodbye. for later. He's cool, right? And eventually, I think it's because we, we killed the Great Wood. That's why he's back. Um, Kornik sees uh, useless to me right now. I'm not going to update any type of weapons. All right, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of... Welcome home, Master. Very well, then take... Leveling up, All right? And we are just going to go down the aisle and it's gonna go to De to Viga. Oh, we only get one, so that's fine. Well, there's it, we're so close to the next one, so we need another what, like just twelve hundred or something like that. Let's see if I could uh, burn one of these puppies. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that'll do it. Well and let's level up again. And we'll give ourselves a, one more vigor. And now we're down to 600 souls, 634 souls. So that's perfect for me. In a way, I have nothing to lose. Let's see what this guy has to say before we go visit um, the big man up there. He's going to transpose weapons for us. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. Cool, thank you. Heavy gem, I like that. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> He's gonna go hollow this guy. But I don't think he does. The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their evil. Anyway, wow. He's got a great attitude. I think this guy's up here now, isn't he? Yeah, check him out. Mm. Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lords absconded? Then these red eyes are for you. He eventually gives you, I think it's him who gives you a key um, for a, a red eye orb, which is cracked and it could be used unlimited and has unlimited uses, I suppose you could say. But for now, you know, he's kind of, they're kind of pushing you to invade people. Because in a way, if you can make invasion Use fun. To pillage <laughs> enemies and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. 
What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength. What else? Anyway, he says that. He says that, and he stays there for a long time. All right, now. And here's the man here. We're gonna give him the. <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna give him the transposing kill. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord, and this is my throne. So we're gonna give him the kill. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Yes. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Very cool. So let's begin because I think we have some souls that we can use. Cool, right? Soul of the uh, Great Wood. We get a Holler Slayer Great Sword. What is that? Um, Oh yeah, that's a very cool sword. What's the uh, requirements? Oh, you need 18 decks for it? That's kind of weird. Why would you need so much decks for a great sword? Anyway, uh, the soul of a demon. Who is, what demon did we kill? Oh, that's the, um, that fire demon with Sigurd. Oh, cool. You get a uh, wart's hammer uh, for his soul and the great wood you could also get an astora spear very cool what is this uh, oh a demon's fist okay that's what this the demon soul and what is this soul of the soul of boreal vort boreal valley vort oh okay so this is the uh, the pontiff's left eye <clears throat> you know i've never been able to really trigger that or it has and i don't know so I think this time we're going to get the uh, the weapon, which is cool. And I don't have a thousand for the great sword, but I'll, I'll let it be for now. And uh, that's everything. See, you got a lot of good things from him. Treat the firekeeper not with discourtesy. She is much like thee. Prisoners both kept to link the fire. All right, guys. Well, next time we're going to uh, go in the sewer there and we're going to work that out and i guess we'll make our way through the um the the road to the road of sacrifices right i think that will be uh moving forward and i think we're done with well pretty much with the undead settlement i think we are like i said we just have to do the sewer and uh i think that's that's it and it was you know it was pretty good it's a little bit of a rough ride <laughs> but uh maybe we'll get uh, better as time goes on who knows Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Kevon, you're excellent and very brave today after dying so many times to the Great Wood. I know lots of people that are in the Dark Souls world would be making fun of us, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, Kevin, see you there. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching.